A video of the CCP's live fire drill in the Taiwan Strait has been exposed, showing a large number of amphibious tanks have been assembled. On July 30th, the CCP Army conducted a live fire military exercise in the waters only 100 kilometers away from Taiwan. Local netizens took pictures of the live firing from different angles. It is said that the CCP intends to intimidate Taiwan and prevent Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, from visiting Taiwan. The Chinese army is gathering in large numbers around Hangzhou and Shanghai, including amphibious tanks. But analysts say these movements are probably just routine military exercises. According to the official media, the Fujian Pingtan Maritime Bureau released a navigational warning on July 28th on its website that live firing would be held in some waters from 0800 to 2100 on July 30th and access was prohibited. Videos released by netizens show that the live firing actually started before dawn on July 30th. The footage indicates that the Chinese Communist forces fired a large number of howitzers, tracer rounds, and flares from ground positions. Another video shows the Chinese army firing howitzers from the land, but it seems that only one cannon was firing. The scene was probably not as intimidating as the CCP would have liked. According to the Wall Street Journal, their sources said House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and several other members of Congress were scheduled to begin a trip this weekend that included planned stops in Singapore, Malaysia, South Korea, and Japan. One of the sources said logistical preparations were made for a trip to Taiwan in case a final decision was made to go there. The Chinese Communist Party has warned repeatedly that Pelosi's trip to Taiwan would have serious consequences. The U.S. Navy this week moved the Singapore-based aircraft carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan, and its battle group to the Western Pacific, heading for the South China Sea. The Pentagon has said that as a precaution, the Defense Department sometimes diverts military forces to areas where senior political leaders and officials are visiting. But so far, there has been no major buildup or mobilization of communist forces in Fujian, the closest province to Taiwan. However, a large number of trains carrying military vehicles, including amphibious tanks, have been spotted in the areas of Hangzhou and Shanghai, far away from Taiwan. A video shows that on July 30th in Hangzhou, Zhejiang province, a train carried a large number of amphibious tanks and troop carriages, but their destination was unknown. In addition, on July 29th, a large number of troops were assembled and mobilized near Shanghai and Hangzhou. Some analysts pointed out that this type of military mobilization may belong to the general routine mobilization, fortification, or military exercises because it is far away from the Taiwan Strait where war may occur. However, a large number of military deployments occurred at this critical time and they appeared in the public eye. Experts say most of these arrangements were deliberately displayed to the outside world or to cheer up the CCP's little pink. An image of the wreckage of the Long March rocket hitting the ground was revealed. China's Long March 5B carrier rocket was launched with the Wentian experimental module on July 24th. The carrier rocket's wreckage fell uncontrollably to the Earth's surface on July 31st near Palawan Island in the Philippines. According to Space.com, the wreckage re-entered the atmosphere over the Indian Ocean at around 45 minutes after midnight on July 31st. The Malaysian National Space Agency confirmed that the wreckage was detected in the Malaysian airspace in the early morning of the 31st, and the debris fell in the Sulu Sea. Subsequently, China's manned space project also posted on its official website that the wreckage of the Long March 5B fell in the surrounding waters not far from Palawan Island in the Philippines. The site is only about 1,400 kilometers south of Taiwan. According to the New York Times, the wreckage of the Long March 5B fell into the Sulu Sea. Local residents also shared on Twitter the disintegration process of the rocket wreckage during its fall. The several points of light emitted from the burning debris were very obvious, and the size of the rocket remains wasn't small. Since China launched the Long March 5B carrier rocket on July 24th, the international community was worried that the debris of the rocket may crash into densely populated areas after returning to Earth, repeating the accident in 2020 when debris fell near a village in the Ivory Coast in West Africa. 
In response, NASA Administrator Nielsen criticized the Chinese Communist Party for not sharing specific trajectory information about the wreckage's fall to Earth, saying that all aerospace nations should follow established best practices and try to share such information in advance to help predict potential impact risks, especially for the Long March 5B. The information should be shared as far in advance as possible to help predict potential impact risks, especially for heavy launch vehicles such as the Long March 5B, which weighs more than 20 metric tons and could cause significant loss of life and property. Harvard astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell, interviewed by CNN, also said bluntly, No other country would leave these 20-ton objects in orbit and re-enter the atmosphere in an uncontrolled form.